It's been a while since I uploaded. On this channel, my main channel takes precedent. The children need their hilarity, and I must deliver, or else bad things will happen. Like what? I don't know. Some guy will go crazy, jump out of his window, fall on a kid, and then there'll be a whole mess of trouble, all because I didn't upload. All jokes aside, as some of you may be aware, I've been working on a 1 to 100 scale hanger bay. The one I'm currently working with is a recast of the Kotobukiya kits, which most of them were discontinued, so really you only have one choice, and that's a knockoff. All the original Kotobukiya kits are hundreds of dollars for one piece. It's ridiculous. So, in order to make this base look more presentable, more believable, more eye-catching, I decided to add more accents. That's where the photo etchings come in. Right now, we are using photo etchings that some can be found on New Type HQ. Thank God. You can actually order it and get it within the course of a couple days. The downside is New Type HQ only has like two. So you're reduced to going to Flea Bay and ordering these things. I picked up the handrail. I also picked up the maintenance ladder. And I picked up the maintenance ladder stairs. These all need to be used in conjunction to one another to pull off the look. Because without the other bits, uh, you know... Let's face it, this is how they get you. They split up everything and make you pay. That's how life works. My first mistake was thinking I needed my razor blade to pull these out. In all actuality, you could just use your hands. Don't overthink it. That's life. You overthink it, you end up thinking yourself into a box and screwing up. Just do it, like the Nike commercials. By the way, Nike, I'm open for sponsorships. I also overthought the assembly of these. I literally thought I had to use like a ruler or some sort of piece of rigid plastic to shape these. You really don't need to, because these are actually made in Japan. This is like a must for Chinese knockoff stuff that have photo etchings. Any photo etchings from China, you better have something to like do this or else it's going to be all wobbly and warp looking. This was completely and utterly unnecessary. So, good news for you if you're interested. Next up, we got to fix these little stairs, because you do. It, this will really help if you have some really tiny tweezers. I strongly recommend the God Hands or something along that lines. By the way, New Type HQ sells them. Use my promo code, it's a gunpla. Remember, uh, using my code helps fight lupus. If you didn't know, Fred was cured because someone used my promo code recently. I and Fred, thank you. <laughs> Honestly, like uh, doing these things, watching it is really boring. It is so boring. And it's time consuming. Believe me, I know. I was sitting here doing this stuff like I was some sort of jeweler. The good thing about these pieces is they're actually strong enough to withstand you doing this. I was so worried I could break them. Do not get me wrong though. If you come in here like the Incredible Hulk, you're gonna rip it to pieces. But you can totally do this without, you know, being scared you're gonna break it like it's some sort of Fabergé egg. It can take a little foolery. Not much, but more than you'd expect. Once you got that all sorted out, it's time to put together the rest of the pieces. And frankly, it's very straightforward. It's not really rocket science. The instructions are minimal at best. They could be better in all honesty. But then again, I guess, what do you expect? I mean, they would assume if you're buying these, you know what the hell you're doing. They don't expect someone who has no idea what they're doing to pick these up. I'm drinking Gatorade out of a teacup. I feel like a fine gentleman or a guy who doesn't wash dishes. Also in this kit, it comes with little laptops, dude, which is actually sort of sick. I mean, if you've got like tiny tables, it's fantastic. Here's what I did. I took like one of the uh, little crates that you stand in. I don't know what the hell you call it. And just put the laptop on top of it like it was a table. It really works. And at this scale, no one's really going to notice. Painting it though, real pain in the ass. I mean, it is small. Here's a pro tip for me. Get out your nippers to grab these little tabs on the pieces and you just bend them into place. You need these to glue on the other pieces to put it together. They have these little metal tabs that you have to bend. Now, if you try doing it with tweezers, you're only going to warp the little photo etch. But I found using the nippers, it's got enough force to be able to grab the one piece you want bent and bend it correctly. 
Believe me, I've had time to screw up enough to learn. So, my mistake, now I pass it on to you, you won't have to live with it. The etchings themselves are very nice, highly detailed. The only real problem I have with them is when you airbrush them, you probably want to go at more of a distance than when I did it. Or else you're going to fill those little holes and grooves with paint. Which sucks. Then again, it's not really a major deal breaker. Who's going to go up to your like diorama with a magnifying glass to see if you paint it correctly? At the end of the day, it really doesn't matter unless you have serious OCD. Then it could be a problem. I'm going to say these things are pretty legit. In fact, they're too legit to quit. Quite useful. A little undersized though, in my opinion. I feel like uh, the maintenance ladders and so on should have been bigger. They seem to be too small for the Bandai 100 scale maintenance crew figures, in my opinion. I could be wrong. It's a visual thing. On the plus side, this does do one 100 scale and one 44 scale. So you're covered on either size that you're looking at. If you're looking at one 60th scale, there's a whole bunch of stuff for the bigger scales. The real pain in the ass is one 100 scale, in my opinion. And HO scale is train scale, and that's actually 187 scale, but we're not going to get into that. Uh, next up, I'm going to show you how to paint these. So frankly, it's going to be a separate video. So yeah, because why bother turning this into a review for multiple items when I could just review these things separately, save everybody a whole lot of agita rather than make it a 30 minute video and cramming in all of these products. It'd be a little too messy, you know what I'm saying? So tune into that. It'll be up momentarily after this, hopefully.